everyone. Welcome to Phases the Next Level. I'm your host, Denvalette Sunshine, and I'm so excited to be back with you again. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, and share, and leave your comments below because your opinion does matter, and I'm here for it. Please leave your comments. Let me know what you're thinking about any of these stories that we're reporting today. Um, but first of all, I want to start out with shouting out a big congratulations to Simone Biles, who makes history at the World Championship in Germany. Simone Biles has become the first woman in history to win five world all-around titles and then went on to win five more titles in the last six years. So congratulations to Simone. Um, in an interview, she said, I woke up feeling really confident today that it was going to be a good day. It turned out well, and I feel pretty successful. And she has earned the right to do that. She earned her 22nd gold medal. So kudos to Simone Biles. Moving on to Kevin Hart. I'm glad to report that Kevin is back working, not doing much, not full-fledged, but he is back working, which says that the um, physical therapy is working out for him. So I'm glad to hear that. They are reporting that the driver kind of spun out. He, he he accelerated too too hard and spun out, which made them go through the fence and over the embankment. They're calling it reckless driving. So we got to be careful um, about how we're operating these vehicles because it could have very well been all three of their lives. So they're blessed to be walking around. So yes, Kevin is um, going um, out promoting his Jumanji. He did say that he has nothing but love for the two and hope that they're um, there healing and progressing as well so um again we just want to say um kevin and to the other two passengers that we hope that you guys have a quick recovery get well soon and come back a hundred percent well doing a hundred percent better than ever so the next story is um mr donald trump really quick so there have been two arrests made. They were two business part, the two business associates of Trump's personal attorney, Rudy, Rudy Giuliani. Um, they were arrested in connection with um, compromising the um, election. So they were basically paying out to, or, or trying to pay out to sway the election towards Donald Trump winning again. So they have been arrested, were found with one-way tickets out of the country. So was this allegedly to escape what's happening um, with this look into the impact? Good morning. Hey, Savannah, good morning to you. These are the first criminal charges emerging from the Trump administration's controversial relationship with Ukraine. Those two men, both Giuliani associates, who House Democrats have now subpoenaed in the impeachment inquiry or accused of trying to influence U.S. politics with illegal campaign contributions. Those two men led partisan Igor Fruman, seen here with the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, in a video posted last year. Government documents show that the men helped Giuliani set up a meeting with high-level Ukrainians, who Giuliani was lobbying to investigate Joe Biden and his son, Hunter. Partisan Fruman both charged with violating campaign finance law by allegedly trying to funnel foreign money to American politicians to buy potential influence with the candidates, campaigns, and the candidates' governments. This investigation is about corrupt behavior. The news outlet um, also addressed Donald Trump about this, his connection with the two gentlemen. He responded by saying he pretty much um, knows nothing about them, that they would have to talk to Rudy about those guys. So one reporter came back to him and said, yeah, but you were in pictures with them. He came back and said, oh, of course, probably so. I'm in pictures with everyone. So we will continue to follow this story um, and see what, what goes on. But according to the, the reporters, Donald Trump allegedly does plan to stand up and fight the allegations and ultimately duck an impeachment. And then my final story bringing that I'm bringing to you today is going to be just briefly around the Tasha K, who is a blogger, and Cardi B, who is a successful rapper, as we all know. So we know that um, Cardi B and Tasha has been kind of has been bumping heads back and forth. Um, Tasha K reports on Cardi B. Cardi B doesn't doesn't appreciate it, so they go back and forth. Well, um, it went all the way to Cardi B first press charges um against Tasha K for saying that she um 
you know, was suing her for defamation. Um, she said that Tasha K allegedly said that she was a prostitute, that her baby culture would be born with disabilities and all kinds of nonsense. Um, so allegedly Tasha K clapped back and said, well, I'm going to sue you for $1 million for fear of my life faced with uh, death threats. And I feel like I am scared for my life. So this will remain to be seen uh, what goes on with Cardi B and Latasha K, the blogger. Now, Cardi B has gone to court and asked the judge to dismiss the case with Tasha K, but it has been denied. So they will have to go forward and she will have to face Tasha K in court um, to see what the outcome is. So just my opinion, um, you know, when you become successful, people come at you, but you have to also know that, and, and, and especially with, let me just say this with Cardi B, um, being allegedly connected to gang members, then, you know, it's easy to say that she's having these death threats and people are coming after her, you know, talking about Tasha K, but we'll see. And then with bloggers, you know, um, Cardi B has to understand that people are going to dig, dig, dig in your business, pull out all your dirt because basically, you know, for the views and to get people informed about what they can find out about you. So it works kind of both ways, but I will just continue to follow this story just to see what the outcome will be. Again, the, de the judge has denied Cardi B's motion to dismiss so you guys let me know what you think leave your comments below i'm excited to see what you might think about any of these stories that we have brought to you today in the meantime treat everyone with kindness say your prayers and i shall see you soon